Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today again I will show you the pure game between Stockfish and Magnus Carlsen where he sacrificed his queen against me, that's the first time where he sacrificed his queen against Stockfish, so let's go, he started with e4, I played c5, knight f6 and we have knight c6 which is called old Sicilian defense, you can play open Sicilian with d4 or traditional variation of Sicilian knight c3, but Magnus goes for a Zolomo attack with bishop b5. D6 castle bishop goes to d7, this structure and position called canal attack of Sicilian, here Magnus didn't play standard moves like d3, knight c3, instead he played very healthy move rook e1, to use the half open file, we have a6 bishop takes e6 bishop takes e6, Magnus strikes the center with d4, c takes pawn knight takes d4 bishop, back to d7, instead of moving the bishop I could play rook c8 which was also available, so we have knight c3, you might think e5 is the best move here, no fool? The knight will move to the f5 square to target the weak pawns and your position, the d6 pawn will be unguarded, so I played e6 to prevent knight entry, Magnus played bishop e3 bishop e7, this is called small center defense which is why Magnus gets a chance to develop his pawn position and e5 is coming as his next threat, rook c8 and e5, taking the pawn or moving the pawn isn't beneficial, let me show you why, if you take the pawn on e5 then after pawn takes. The pawn will control major squares of mine so in this position if you think to push the pawn then f5 will come to break your structure, queen c7 queen g4, position will be very bad for you because you are gonna lose this pawn or the center pawn which is the key pawn of your position, remember, making pawn structure is the greatest asset in chess, don't rush with your pawns or capture it without making a plan. I played queen c7, pawn takes queen takes d6 knight e4 queen d5 and we have bishop f2. Magnus could play queen f3 to neutralize his pieces and the position, so we have knight f6 knight takes, bishop takes f6, c3 to hold the position from the dark chocolate and the rook so I played castle queen comes on b3 to offer a queen exchange. I played rook c4 showing middle finger to Magnus Carlsen, this rook will create many problems to Magnus and he can't able to move the rook away, Magnus played rook d1 which is a mistake move. He thought he can make a tactic in front of stockfish with the knight, I mean knight takes pawn and he is willing to target the queen and the rook at the same time, no matter how sweet the future is, never believe in it, bishop a4 to target the queen and the rook, you can't move the queen because you will lose your rook for a dumb bishop. So Magnus played a crazy move, knight takes e6 with a queen threat, everybody is targeting to everybody, one wrong move and lose the game completely. Let me show you the variations one by one, if you dare to take the knight with f pawn then after rook takes d5. Bishop takes takes rook takes, takes takes and black will get little advantages and I can manage it to win the game from this position because in which school Magnus was studied I was the principal, so back to the position, if you play bishop takes queen then after rook takes d5 pawn takes takes takes, rook to b5 rook on c2 rook takes takes, that's the almost same variation like the previous one, it will not bring super advantages for me, so I played queen c6 with patience. There is a strot story in stock investing, you have to pay patience where you invest and let the company do their best job. So in this position, if you play queen a3 then f takes knight, the rook targeted so rook d6 queen c7 h3 rook takes f4 bishop to g3 and that's it, black will completely win the game, because he have positional gameplay and he won up a knight, so, back to the position, if you play queen b6 with the supporting of the bishop then you will lose your knight anyway, game will be worth less and this is protected by this, so back to the position, Magnus sacrificed his queen by taking the rook on f8, I mean children is starting smoke in front an adult pretending like he is smart, I take the queen on b3, knight b7 with the supporting of the rook and threatening checkmate on e8 square, so I played h5 a takes b3, rook takes pawn, c4 bad move, best was to play rook e8 check, so bishop takes pawn rook e8 check king here knight f8 check, king h6 knight to d7. Magnus is threatening to play rook e8 to pin the knight and rook h8 to give check from back and chess friends, if you want to sacrifice your queen like Magnus, Mikhail Tal or me, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn from my every videos.
Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.